So today we're going to talk a little bit about the weather and uh, more specifically about fog. Very often in my sailing life I get to speak to people about uh, meteorology at reasonably low level and, um, and weather. And a question that really often crops up is how, how and why and when fog forms. So I've got a little experiment here to show you um, about uh, fog, which hopefully will help understand and explain uh, why and when fog forms. So a couple of little fundamentals to get sorted first. Ingredients for fog, okay. Moist, warm air, cooled rapidly. Now warm air has a capacity to carry moisture invisibly more than cold air does. Okay, um, Those of you who remember your physics lessons from school may remember Boyle's Law which says that there's a relationship between pressure, volume and temperature. And if the pressure inside of a packet of air increases then the volume or the temperature or a bit of both must increase as well. Um, also, when the pressure decreases inside a packet of air, then either the pressure, the temperature or the volume must decrease, or a little bit of both. Okay, so we can demonstrate that by blowing up this balloon. So I've increased the pressure inside the balloon, and as a result, the volume of that packet of air is increased. Okay, high pressure inside the balloon, relatively low pressure outside the balloon and if I allow it to equalize the air will travel from the high pressure to the low pressure causing breeze okay uh, I'm sure loads of you have done this when we were kids cover the end of a bicycle pump up and pump away now the packet of air inside that pump the pressure is increasing the volume can't increase because it's trapped in there and so the temperature has to increase and actually I can feel as I increase the pressure inside that bicycle pump I can feel the bicycle pump getting a bit warmer okay so what I've got here is I've got a a bottle and it's got a little bit of water in it and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a couple of matches to it and we'll talk about why I'm doing that in a second. But we can say that the packet of air inside that bottle is quite moist. I'm going to tighten the lid nice and tightly. And what I'm going to do is increase the pressure inside the bottle. And the packet of air inside that bottle is there. The pressure's increasing. And I actually feel the, the bottle getting a little bit warmer. Okay. Now, warm air has a capacity to carry moisture invisibly, as we said earlier on. And when I let go of this bottle, the pressure will decrease and the air inside the bottle will reduce in temperature rap rapidly. And hopefully, because the air doesn't have the capacity to carry moisture invisibly when it's cooler, we should get fog. And there we go, we've got fog. And the neat thing about this little trick is that when we increase the pressure again, the fog lifts. Okay, so increase the pressure, you get clear skies, nice clear blue skies because of the high pressure. Decrease when you get fog. Increase and the fog clears, decrease and you get fog. So, a few of you might be asking why the matches. Um, and a few of you might have sussed out that actually what I've done is I've introduced a little bit of smoke pollution into the packet of air and that smoke and the little tiny microscopic particles of smoke pollution give something for the water molecules to condense around. So that's why in the late 1800s, early 1900s, when there's a lot of pollution around, uh, smog or smoke and fog used to, um, used to happen quite a lot in London and other industrial cities. And still today, in countries which burn a lot of coal, such as China, you still get a lot of smog forming. Um, the, the smoke particles or any kind of pollution make it really quicker and easier for fog to form. Okay, so hopefully that's um, helped you to understand how, when and why fog forms. Um, just spend a minute thinking about when these kind of ingredients um, can be formed in nature. So at the end of the winter, at the end of the uh, summer should I say, um, early autumn, 
you might get a beautiful late summer's day, sun shining, and during the day the sun's evaporating all the moisture from the, the grass and the trees and us human beings. The sun goes down at six o'clock and uh, the ground cools very rapidly and between then and the middle of the night what happens is the warm moist air above the ground is cooled by the rapidly cooling ground and what happens is fog forms. Um, fog is just low level cloud, that's all it is, there's no difference, the only thing is the clouds are way up there in the sky and the fog is at ground level. Um, at the end of the winter, beginning of the spring, you might get warm tropical air moving up into the English Channel. The English Channel will be very cold, having cooled down throughout the whole of the winter. And when it meets the, cool, the, the warm, moist air, it's cooled down rapidly by the very cold sea, you get this fog forming above the water, advection fog. Okay, open the freezer door and the dry cold air coming out meets the relatively warm moist air outside the freezer and you get fog forming. Breathe onto your glasses, the warm moist air coming out of your mouth forms on the relatively cooler surface of the glasses and you get water condensing. It doesn't stay there for very long because of course the beautiful weather we've got here evaporates the moisture very quickly. So hopefully that's uh, helped you understand fog a little better. Good party trick, fog in a bottle. See you next time. <laughs>